Lucas Media. So we got some news coming out of the boxing world. Former WBC champion, last American champion, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder, who has an upcoming match against Zane, says that during an interview that he may retire if he doesn't beat Zane this upcoming Saturday in Queensbury versus Matchroom 5 on 5. Quote, this could be the end of the career. This could be the final farewell of Deontay Wilder if I lose. And he did this with uh, Radio Raheem with seconds out. Now, honestly, I hope that Wilder beats Zane. Uh, I want to see Wilder go back. I know he was inactive and he said that was one of the reasons why he was this timing was off with Joseph Parker. And I agree. I know a lot of y'all don't don't like that, but I just got the me and my son just got the slap boxing the other day and I ain't did it in so long. And now my timing is off. So I could imagine for him going up against a professional fighter. However, when it comes to if he loses, if he loses, which I, I, I hope all of us don't want to see that happen. I think this will be the end for the bronze bomber. He had a hell of a career. You can't take it from him. Um, but you know he he ain't getting no younger. There's a lot of politics in in boxing, and you can see that a lot of a lot of y'all favorite fighters was trying to stall all of this out, or their promoters try to stall all this out. You know, like I said, he a multi millionaire. He was the longest heavyweight champion. I believe he still is technically the longest reigning, or he was the in a in a while. WBC, which is which is all the fighters consider that the most prestigious belt. So there's a lot to take away. It's just unfortunately because boxing was so broken in, and we don't stay on cold. We never people didn't celebrate Wilder like that. Wilder had a hell of a KO. If he hit you with that Alabama slam, he was going to sleep. The only person you've ever seen rise from the dead was Tyson Fury and even with that that was a long count by the referee but I do think that Wilder will win and then hopefully now that Waters is partnered up with Eddie Hearn him and Anthony Joshua can fight since uh, Tyson Fury is tied up with Usyk again with an upcoming rematch so and we can finally see these two fight now we wanted to see it happen in 2018 I remember bits being a fan, not with a YouTube channel, pushing forward, arguing with people with the UK, and everybody was making these excuses. And years later, we still haven't seen it. And you know, both of them, both of them brothers, can go out on the sunset fighting each other. So that's why I want Water to win this weekend. But if he loses and he retires, I can't. Hey, I can't. I can't blame him. You know, until his haters again, he's still retiring a multimillionaire. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.